What I've got here is one of Grandma's favourite records. She won't be missing this. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> right, but what we really want is the record inside. And Sorry, Dennis. So apart from Granny's records, you'll also need a dry point tool to engrave with and a burnisher to wipe things down and rub things down with. So normally I'd be working in metal with this or sometimes with plastic but with this it's metal but because of the groove of the record you can just smooth it out and you get sort of a little light patch. You scrape in with this and get a texture. Let's go! Sorry Gran, your record's not going to play too good after this. I'm just drawing up a plan here. I want to draw a snake and a frog on the record here. I'm using a white pencil, but it's still pretty hard to see whatever you use. Now scrape in with the dry point tool. After I've marked out the lines, I get the burnisher and I flatten down the grooves in the record. You can flatten them down and make a smooth patch. The grooves themselves give a very dark grey so this is making a light grey and I press lighter still and it gets a white. Now time to print. First I'm going to soak my paper, get it ready. I like to soak it for a good 10 minutes. It's a nice thick sheet of 300 GSM paper. Out comes Dennis's record. Now I'm using Acura inks. The thing with this is that it doesn't dry through evaporation, it dries through absorption. If you lay it on too thick it's never going to dry. So the trick is to put it on thin and really wipe it back. It's the only way to get this thing to dry. Apart from that, it's pretty good because it washes out with soapy water. So just doing the usual rub in, wipe off and then buff it up with some phone book paper and really wipe back a lot. Now on goes my sheet of paper and through the press it goes. And now for the most exciting part of printmaking, let's have a look at it. You can see there that uh, it's picked up quite a bit of the ink. It's also picked up quite a lot of the grooves the grooves have left a grey tone, scratching a black, where I've burnished back white. All in all, it's a pretty pleasing result. And just a bit of ink on the tail there that I should have wiped back, but it's a pretty interesting result. There you go, record breaking printmaking, in that I destroyed that record. I'll slip it back in and see what happens when Grand goes to play it.